Welcome back. What's Psychic up, everyone? Medium Cindy Kaza in the building. I am here in the building. We're, We're not in the, in the car. building. We're in the car. How but come this how isn't popping up? It. it takes a second. Oh. So now you should know. So now if you scroll down, it probably pops up. So we got to talk about this big news story coming up, huh? Well, I mean. It's interesting, though. I want to know. Wait, how come this isn't popping? Let's see. Every time I can't get this right. Yeah. We, oh, put. You're gonna kill us. No, I swear to God, every not. time I get into the car we're for stopped. captain's Oh, there it there is. There you are. Share now. Go. Share. We're in. All right, cool. Now I can turn that All on. right, now here we go. Now put the car in automatic drive mode. We're good. Oh, God. You need a uh, self driving car. It's half, it's three quarters. It's three quarters self driving? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's not try that today. Why not? It's on. It's doing it. I'm so scared. We're dead. <laughs> I do it every time. I know. I just set this. It's all set. I just took, you know, in the parking lot. Your teeth are very white. Did you get them whitened? No. Oh. Maybe it's just. Um, Don't they the, look white? The jeans. <laughs> I do use whitening uh, toothpaste. Oh. Oh, yeah. Every day. So maybe that helps. Yeah. Does that help? I guess. You have white teeth too, though. I know. Yeah. I'm going to pull out. So what's going on in the news? You get some uh, some skeptics out there or what? No, it's not about me. You know? No, I know. Well, I guess. I guess but I it's mean. interesting because it's just like anything. So these guys are running around. Tell me, tell me the story. Okay, so there's an article that came out in the New York Times, like, what day? Today's Friday, so I think it was, like, Tuesday or something. Yeah. Or, I don't know. But, oh, look, there's already somebody uh, posting some... the Bible. Thank you. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, appreciate I you. respect your opinion. But, um, but we will say goodbye to you. Okay, so... Um, goodbye. There, Well, and it's okay. You know, it doesn't offend me. <laughs> but, but there was an article that came out, which, you know, it's coming from people who are going around and trying to, um, you know, prove that psychic mediums are all fake. Maybe not all fake, but right. uh, it didn't say all psychic mediums. But what they're doing is they're going around and um, going to live events and in setting up fake Facebook pages to see if the medium is, is using social media to research the people in the audience right. and and prior to the show. Who has that kind of time? I don't know. But I mean, I don't, but that's right. why I told, like I was talking to you about earlier, I'm so glad I work in the venues that I work at because I don't have access to the client list Correct. or yeah, the ticket Yeah, you have no sales. idea who's going. I don't even know who's coming. Yeah. So that's interesting. But the thing is, is like, there's probably some people out there that are doing well, it of course. fake, they're, right? They're, they're fake. They're There's fakes frauds in everywhere. anything. They're fakes every, in, in any fields, right? And Absolutely. there certainly are, but... I mean, look at doctors. There's guy, people that impersonate doctors, that's pretty, right? And police. they do real surgeries. That's horrifying. And then they oh go to God. jail. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So there's crazy people out there doing things like that all the time. Yeah. But um, did they find anybody that was doing it? Were well, they valid in any of the circumstances? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't know because I was, I didn't see the research. I didn't see any of the documents. It's like, you know, they're writing an article and then you're going on hearsay. Is right. it true or is it not? So I don't even want to comment on that. But, but I think that talking about that sort of thing is really important. Um, because skepticism, I think skepticism is good. People should be skeptical and it's a healthy thing, you know? Yeah. But not all mediums are frauds. <laughs> but, right. No, not at but, all. And then the interesting thing is, is like, who has the ability, first of all, if you're that good that you could go on social media, find, read stories about everybody who's potentially coming to the audience, and then you could pick out the person. Like, I have a following, and I see people all the time. I'm not even sure when I walk into town if that person is the same person that's been talking to me on social media for the past three years. Yeah. Isn't that so weird? Yeah. Like, do you ever have that situation? Yeah, it's out of contact, right? So it's many weird, times yeah. I've been in the... I've been in areas or restaurants or situations I'm like I'm pretty sure that person is a friend of mine on social media that we talk on Instagram or Facebook but I am not gonna say hi because I don't know so these people they're saying that there's somebody that good that they can go it's got to be a small audience not like what you do because yeah. you're doing huge audiences like 200 plus people yeah so I don't know I mean I don't know all the details but you know if somebody actually is doing that, should they be called out? Absolutely. Of like, course. If that's, that's actually ridiculous. happening, then yeah. sure. But, 
you know, who, I don't know. I just, because I feel like sometimes some of the people that are really trying to do that are people that just automatically hate us and don't believe in anything we do. They're trying the to say that they're debunking. They're, they're so good at, it, they know, they know everything else, which in their lives, they're probably totally whack themselves and they have nothing else to do <laughs> except know. try to troll people on the internet. I like, don't know. What kind of life do they live that they actually have the ability to, to worry about this stuff? And I, you know, and I don't know everybody, you know, and that's what I was saying before it, the beauty is that we all have a right to speak our minds and freedom of speech of and freedom of religion and, and all that stuff but you know I think the the other misconception about mediumship or psychic ability is well hey everybody has an intuition so that's the root of the psychic ability every yeah. human being is has intuition right? yeah but not like yours yours is am like amazing well, you just it's know. Just more, I'm just more everything. It, oh, I don't know everything. Oh, I'm God. telling you, when you some of the stuff that you told me, I, I was like, don't I couldn't everything. believe it. <laughs> but I would hate to date you. Oh, thanks. That's probably why I'm still single. <laughs> Nobody wants It'd to date me. It'd be the worst. Ass. You'd be like, oh, okay, I know what you did. <laughs> 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 but you know, it's just, it's just really, it's, it's interesting. But um, but I think what it is is that the misconception sometimes is that because it, it movies we've seen in Hollywood and stuff. Like The Sixth Sense. I love that movie. I'm not knocking the movie because it's awesome. But Is it real? I, they got a, a lot of things right. But the thing is, m most mediums, I really don't know a single medium um, that sees people on the other side. Like I'm looking at you all day long every day and is having a full-on conversation like we're having right now. Right. It's way more subtle because we have imp hear, hear things. We have impressions that we see in our minds. We feel. it's it, And it kind of hits you all at the same time so I always describe it as kind of like playing Pictionary charades and telephone simultaneously okay. because you have visions like clairvoyance so have you ever had a dream that about something that's gonna happen before it did or right yes so I have you wake up and you're like wow I just had a dream something was gonna happen and then it happens that's clear my mom had a dream that the house was gonna get bur burglarized and it did this was 20 years ago but yeah mm -hmm. and then it did the next like day right so what is that psychic it's a premonition it's amazing. So the thing is, is like, if you're talking to somebody, do you have to put a, put aside like the other ability to know like what, either what they're thinking or feeling or how, what is it? Like if me and you're just having a conversation, do other things pop in your head? Like, oh my God, I know. Oh no. So I can turn my ability. You just have to down, go down right. and turn on and get into that funk. I don't want to know your mind. I know. But like, does that ever get in the way of like just normal conversations? No. And not for me because I don't always keep myself open. I, okay. I wouldn't be able to like walk around doing that all day. You need a very open that. mind, Cindy. I know. I know. <laughs> but that's funny, right? Like, so you you actually have to tune in. So it's kind of like flipping a switch where you just you expand your consciousness outside. So that's where that exists, right? Yeah. Um, but. It's like flipping a switch. So it's not on right now. I'm just talking to you regular. We're just regular. We're just regular. Yeah. 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 Not like last time. Last time it was good. <laughs> it was really good. I couldn't believe it. That was, uh, it was amazing. I actually wanted you to talk to my grandparents and you named my grandfather. The first thing, you, we had no idea that I had actually told somebody that I wanted you to, to do a reading and see if you were going to talk to my grandpa. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I told you, I didn't tell you that. And then the first person you said was Charles or Charlie, and his name was Charles, which was like, uh, I was freaked out. And then we were talking and everything, of course, was spot on, but um, amazing that you like knew the name. I mean, how, there, how many names are there? Who knows, right? And you just picked that. And I hadn't mentioned that name in year, like, I had, yeah, that was just amazing. Yeah, oh. it's really, really crazy. So you have a cold right now. I do. Why don't you um, tell I yourself that you are not going to be sick I know, in the mind future. over matter. Yeah. Mind over matter. <laughs> I know. That's what you should do. I've been sick so much this year. It's so annoying. It's like it's a, a lot of traveling. But I fly everywhere. So yeah, it's a lot it's, of traveling. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah. But you're in sunny Florida performing at Off the Hook Comedy Club tonight. I know, I'm super psyched. Two yeah. shows, 6.30 and 8.30. How yep. cool is that? And then oh, wait, tomorrow. Oh, Anne says I'm a skeptic. Awesome, Anne. Skepticism is awesome. Totally cool. Yeah, come like, see the show because you will be turned. It's amazing, I'm telling you. Well, I don't well, uh, I think because uh, <laughs> no. I've seen so many. And it's just amazing uh, how you basically take the entire audience and, like, break down people's, like... 
lives and everybody's like, oh my God, it's so right. People are crying and people are happy and well, it's, the it's other a really thing an amazing maybe, experience. And, and I love, like, I love working at comedy clubs. I always say this because it's such a fun environment where people can have some food and hang out with their friends and like right. feel relaxed. It's not as, you know. Yeah, you open up. I like your your intro because then you kind of like put everybody at ease and you tell them like, tell me what you tell me what you say because you say some stuff that's like good for everybody in the audience. So that way, like everyone's kind of open. Well, I think laughter is a great medicine, right? right? Yeah. So I like to. It's not light because you're dealing with death, but I like to to bring a sense of humor to it. You know. Um, yeah. Because laughter is so healing, and honestly, people will come through from the other side, and they're funny. They're the ones like calling people out on their stuff. I always say, nothing's safe, <laughs> you know. Right. The, the what happens in Naples stays in Naples, right? Yeah. Because people's stuff come comes out. It does. It does. People in the audience are like taken back. There's people crying. There's people happy. Like yeah. People are, are sometimes uh, you get some of the people when you're doing readings like, okay, I can't take anymore. Right? And that's and that's and fine. What I mean, how do you I'm feel there. when they do that? I am not there to drive the nail in and make somebody run out crying. That's not okay. Right. You know, I think as a somebody working in the public, you really have to be respectful of that because that's you don't want people to ever feel unsafe in your environment. Absolutely. You know, and I always tell people if I'm going too far, and sometimes I I can sense things, and I won't say everything. Yep. Because it's not appropriate. If I'm seeing a homicide and I'm seeing the whole scene playing out in my head, I don't right. have to really describe the details of the scene. No, but you do sometimes see it. You see it, right? I can see because it. Because one time there was a pretty. Uh, touchy subject right with something like that in the audience i remember oh i don't know at well, one of the shows probably yeah, yeah there's homicides or i can s i think it was it, it was yeah. a death and it was um i think a still open investigation and that you yeah. came across it was pretty interesting and so you can see the as a medium see the scene in your head of what happened but it doesn't mean on stage you have to give every gory detail that's not why i mean that's just traumatizing for the person that went through that experience right in the audience it's not necessary you know so there's a way to give the, the information that's not like there's that. a lot of healing that happens too though when people come to the show like they they want so bad to figure out what they're you know what they're looking to talk to people in the past and when you hit that when you come across a person and they they're like it's i mean they're just like they never forget it i get people messaging me all the time oh, oh really? my god is cindy coming back because she you know she talked to somebody in my past. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's amazing. No, that's sweet. I'm just glad I can get the information yeah. out. You know, I just, I I don't um, like to take credit for it, I guess. That feels weird yeah. to me because I just give it to God. I believe in God, you know, and, and I know a lot of people uh, think that this is against God, <laughs> but I think there's a difference. Yeah, you do. That's, that, that's part God. of the opening that you do. You're... Uh, when you when you first do your opening announcements, I liked how you kind of tie everything in and tell people you don't have to be believe in X, Y, and Z in order to understand what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But what is what do you say? I like to uh, let me hear what you say. Well, the, my intro is like fifteen minutes. No, long. just that <laughs> that part. That part's really good. When you say like regardless of your religious beliefs, we're here for like that that kind of stuff that you say is really interesting. Well, I just talk about you know, that I believe in God and God has a plan beyond our own. Because what happens is when, you know, you've got so many people in an audience, sometimes it's 250, 300 people. Right. Obviously, everybody there, or almost everybody there, wants to have an experience. Yeah, right? they all want readings, exactly. Yeah. And sometimes but you can't people, do that. And there's not, I mean, it's impossible. Correct. And so, oh, psychics are bullshit. Hey, Paul. Love you, bud. All right. So, um, but anyway, the thing is, um, People will walk away sometimes and they don't get a message, like, really upset, you know? Yeah. And so I just try to turn it over and say, you know, there's a plan beyond our own. Whoever gets a message gets a message. And just please be happy for those getting messages. Right. Because sometimes even the people getting messages will get a message for somebody connected to them. Sure. Not even for them. Right. Right? But I just allow whatever, is to ha whatever happens to happen, you know? so. Which is really... Um amazing how the show just kind of goes you could do it hours yeah. i mean the show's what almost two hours an hour and 40 minutes hour and 30 minutes but literally 
you could go for eight hours and still, un like, every person would still have information given to you. I don't you, understand yeah, how, it doesn't, how you process it all coming it's at so you. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot sometimes. Yeah. Um, is but, it race like at you or is it just come in slow? It depends on the night. Like, some nights it's better, it's, it's easier than others where I feel like things are really, really, yeah. they're standing in line. And other nights I feel like I'm being bombarded. So that's on me, though, you know, as a medium. I have to. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying, I yeah. want to understand, like, when you're, when you're up there and you have, you're looking at 200 people, do things just start blasting at you? Or is it like, okay, I see this is hovering here and you got to pick it? Or how does that, how is it? I just want to say, hi, Lisa. Okay, so um, the way that it happens is I'll be on stage, right? And then I feel the information coming in. So I'll say, for example, this is just an example. I have a dad here. I'm hearing the name Rick or something. I know he you, has... You hear it before you see it? Or do you see... Do it, you see it? Or no? It hits me in a lot of different ways. So sometimes I'll feel the the, the relationship. It feels like dad or I, or I know it's dad. Sometimes I'll hear the name. Oftentimes with names I hear it, but it isn't like I'm, you're hearing me speak to you now. It's like if you were to sing the words to your favorite song in your head. It sounds like ah, I'm talking to myself. Okay, yeah, the only I way that now. I know that I'm not talking to myself is when somebody says yes or no to what I'm saying, you know? Right. So that's how that works. Okay. Because right? I'm not trying to understand that. So I can see, yeah, where you get a song stuck in your head, it just keep, you're not singing it, but you can keep, it keeps replaying. So is that, that's how some of the messages come? Or it's just, it, I'll see, I'll feel, I'll hear, and then I have to, it, sometimes it does feel like you're putting the pieces of a puzzle together. So the misconception is people say, oh, well, if you're really communicating with people on the other side, it should be like I'm talking to you right now. It should be like this, but it doesn't come through that way. See, people are like... Be, oh, thanks. Thanks, Heidi. Be quiet, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> Stop yelling, Fred. Hey, Jennifer, what's up? Boop, boop. All right. <laughs> it's hard to see, guys, when we're driving. I'm driving. Don't let him in read the these light. comments. Yeah, we're driving into the light, so I can't really read You're driving screen. into the light? Yes, see? yes. Oh. That's how it is. It's Everything's about medium <laughs> shit today. We like to use a lot of puns. I know. <laughs> no, but, you know, and look, my job, and I always say this, is not to turn every skeptic into a believer. That's entirely impossible, and it's not why I do what I do. It's that isn't even a battle worth fighting. Right. Um, and if I operated under that kind of agenda, I would just, I have what, seen what's the point, you know? So many people though that love to, they want to be a skeptic and want to be like, oh, this is BS. And then they leave, they're like, damn. I don't know how she did it. <laughs> Every time. Well, and people... Every time. And people will be like, it's you're a mentalist, or you Googled people, or it's... it's And it's like, I seriously don't have time to Google no, 250 you people. No, you couldn't Google because you wouldn't know. So you couldn't tell... I don't know who's on the list right now. Right. You, you have no way. I mean, unless you're and a And I hacker, don't even sell the tickets. And so. you can hack Eventbrite, which is the third largest online portal in the world. They're selling the after freaking Amazon and... and uh, Apple, Look did you know guy. that? So oh, nobody's really? hacking Eventbrite. You can't get the list. There's no way. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're the third largest online portal. Yeah. They sell like billions of dollars every day. Mm -hmm. It's insane how much money they're making. Yeah. So there's no way that like you're hacking that system to figure it out. And you know, at, at the end of the day, like it... <laughs> It's part, it's part for the course that people are going to say that stuff. And I know that, you know, so I just, just keep doing what I, what I do. Yeah. And I try to help as many people as I can. And, and I welcome skeptics to my events. Please come. I, and you know, it, it is what it is, right. you know? Um, so that, that's where it's at. Well, <laughs> it's, it's all the well, only way. Well, to I love when you're on the captain's log. You're one of my favorite guests. Always one of my favorite people. Um, don't miss Cindy. She's going to be at off the hook. This is a three day gig. Usually you're only here for one night. Right. So you're here Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week at off the hook in Naples, Florida. Get tickets at off the hook comedy.com. This is the captain's log. I'm captain Brian, Cindy Kaza. We're having a great time and we're going to be live right now on 103.9. Tune in. We're going to be on big mama. We love you guys watching. Ask questions, Fred. Uh, we can't change your mind, but that's okay. Come see a show that you'll be blown away. Have a good one. Bye.